Okay, welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 Celebrity Love Island. Uh, once again, unfortunately, I'm here by myself. Um, Hannah is busy once again. We haven't had a lot of time to film together. However, hope you guys enjoy it uh, regardless. Uh, oh my lord, Zane just went through Emma. Okay. The lack of player collision is pretty hilarious here. Yeah, all right. As of last time, right, we had uh, the two-on-one date, which was absolutely chaotic, insane. People were pissing themselves. People were fighting. Camila and, and Emma despise each other, so that's going to be a little awkward. But we also had a bunch of things happen with regards to the voting, the polls that y'all uh, voted on. So we will have our first elimination in a while, which means there will be a new person coming into the house today. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it's it's impossible to get everybody to want to go hang out by the fire, but we want to make an elimination today because you all voted. And while there are only four of them here, Zane Malik himself, who is just standing in the bathroom, has been eliminated from Celebrity Love Island to go join the person he might have connected the best with. Uh, not at this point, I guess. Uh, Kendall, uh, in Elimination World. So we're going to get rid of Zayn Malik, unfortunately. Your time here on Celebrity Love Island has been nothing but tumultuous. Your relationship with Kiki is super awkward. You and Emma hate each other. And you didn't develop any romance outside of sort of Kendall. So Zayn, I'm sorry, friend, but you are in fact eliminated. However, Zayn, we're going to do you the absolute favor of sending you to House <laughs> Butthole so you can hang out with Kendall. So at least you can pursue this relationship if you want. Now, with that being said, let's bring in who I... I decided to add this week um, the male bombshell as we got rid of a male. We are going to bring this person in. I am excited to announce that the newest member of the Sims 4 Love Island experiment is none other than actor Dylan O'Brien. The reason why this is fun for me is because Dylan O'Brien, fun fact, uh, he went to the same high school as me and we were locker buddies. Um, we were both in band together and he's like, a, I think he's two years older than me, but um, we had lockers right next to each other because his last name is O'Brien, my last name is Padilla. We had it in like lettering alphabetical order. And so, yeah, we were right next to each other. Super chill dude who was really popular in high school. He had like a web series he was a part of. He had a YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to add him in because all signs point to him being single. He does unfortunately have Zac Efron's same hair. That was the best hair I could do for that. I like he's got his little moles here. He has like one on each cheek, which he does in real life. I gave him a little bit of facial hair to discern him. Plus a really fun, wacky outfit. You guys don't know Dylan. He's most well known for the Maze Runner series as well as Teen Wolf, which he played the character Styles. I gave him the romantic goofball and good trait because I remember him being a solid dude. He was always really nice to me. Adding another actor into the mix uh, to join Emma Watson, Florence Pugh, uh, Kiki Palmer, Zac Efron. Let's see what happens. I'm I'm so excited. I, I, I'm curious to know who he'll end up bonding with. Yeah, I'm just excited to see what happens. So Dylan, welcome in. All right, immediately uh, he's acquired the fitness skill. Cool. I guess he didn't have that. He he jumped immediately in the pool. So we didn't even see him like walk outside to the front entrance. He just went straight to the pool. Uh, where is everybody, by the way? Oh my gosh, everyone's sleeping. Okay, everyone's exhausted. Sean's stinky and tired. Camila's sleeping in the hot tub. Abel's about to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's assign Dylan a bed space then. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll assign the right bed here to Dylan because he doesn't have any bed assignments at the moment. Uh, of course, you can see that he has just come in with uh, acquaintances on everybody. I want to see if he can kind of form relationships organically. Everyone's sleeping in the weirdest ways. Okay, so Zach, Zach go, in, go and sleep in your bed. No? Here, I want to just see if he's willing to sleep. I'm, I'm doing a little bit of, you know, whatever. I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can get him to, to nap next to Florence. No? Oh, okay, he just kicked Florence out of the bed. Oh, that's rough. Okay. All right, Dylan's introducing himself to Kiki. Good, good. Ah, acquired the comedy skill. Funny dude, Dylan. He is a funny dude, actually. I mean, at least from what I remember. All right. Ooh, Dylan's flirty as heck. He's standing behind Kiki, but wants to go. It looks like he's going to go introduce himself to Florence. Oh, Florence is walking over. All right, Dylan, let's see it. Imka floof? Imka floof. Rina. <laughs> Zalga. Oh, <laughs> gross. Haha, <laughs> comedy. I'm silly. But also, I'm looking for love. Yeah. All right, can we build anything? Like, I just want to see if he can organically build anything romantic with anyone. Florence is kind of a free agent right now, Dylan. That's that's kind of nice. Oh, Jesus. Okay, he's going to go self woohoo, apparently. Okay, wow. Sweet. Thanks. Jesus Christ. Dylan, come on now, fam. <laughs> okay, all right. Florence and Abel are going to the, the beach together. I did not even notice this. Okay, w what's the relationship like? It's not much. I mean, there's, there's still technically romantic interests, but I don't think anything's actually properly happened between them. Emma's energized. 
Oh, here we go. There we go. So Emma, Emma had like a really, really good um, date with Sean that ended up in, in her fighting with Camila. But that's okay. But I think Dylan, Dylan really has no understanding of this whole dynamic right now. Oh, uh oh, wait. It's got some negative. Oh, okay. So I'm seeing here that he has. Oh, he has a little compliment appearance coming. Okay. Yeah, you look great, Emma. That one percent. Screw them. You know. Yeah. Oh, Dill Roy. Dill Roy. Okay. Okay. So they they didn't really actually gain anything in the in the way of romantic, but like goofball lesson. Dylan's a goofball. Goofballs are often playful. There you go. Okay. Okay. So maybe he's kind of like a playful flirt. We got Zach working out again. Good God. He he just exclusively does that. All right. Florence is swimming. Oh my gosh. Kiki's joined them. So it's Kiki, Abel, and Florence uh, just swimming about. Are they? Yeah. Is anything gonna build here between any of them? Honestly, Kiki and uh, Florence also kind of have something. Ew. Insects suck. I agree. I guess that wasn't much, but that's okay. Let's see what Dylan's up to again. Oh, okay. He's just been chatting with Sean for a little while. That's fun. Okay. All right. Who's going to be the first person? I'm just curious because uh, we do have a date we have to do today, but um, I just want to see if Dylan can organically develop any sort of romantic feelings. Oh my gosh, Emma. So Emma and Sean have an incredible relationship at this point. So I'm very curious to know how Dylan's supposed to fit into this. Oh my gosh. He just flirted. He just he blew a kiss to her right in front of Dylan. Uh, obviously, Dylan's not going to care because he doesn't have any romantic affiliation with Emma at this point. Okay. Camila's asleep in here now too i she wants to be a part of the action but also like she's not she doesn't have any energy so uh oh there's a fire where where, where where dylan oh geez oh my gosh okay no he's already on it he's so on it okay well done well done no guys oh my gosh who are you cynthia langley get the hell out of here oh my gosh okay yeah i'll just replace everything that's fine um i hate that now i feel like everyone's gonna be scared and tense now that the uh oh man guys okay don't don't freak out about this oh my gosh okay now we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that they're all freaking out about this fire man okay i know i know it's done though dylan replaced everything he, he's he's all good he's got a little band-aid he's got a little oopsie but it's okay it's okay oh kendall's here what the hell kendall who allowed you to just be here. Oh, she's running too. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Where are they? Are they still swimming? Okay. Yeah. Florence and Kiki. Oh my wait. Florence and Kiki are lovebirds. I did not even notice this. Oh my gosh. What did y'all do while I was gone? Did they, did they kiss? Did they whatever? Like here, hold on. Let me, let me open their profile and see. Did they do anything? Lovebirds, a connection of curious hearts. This is shaping up to be a beautiful romance. What the hell? First kisses are kind of hard, hard to come by despite the fact that like I've made it so that they're, it's an autonomous decision that they can do. But now everybody's freaking out except Kendall and Dylan. What the hell? Holy shit, what the hell? Kendall and Dylan are already lovebirds. What? What happened? Okay, Kendall's just, she's come in here. She's like, you know what? Fuck the producers. I'm still a part of this show. I don't give a shit that I'm not supposed to be here. Jesus Christ. Okay, look at this. Their relationship's already insane. I'm so confused. I'm so wildly like, how how did this happen? I guess I was waiting for Dylan to develop something with somebody. And I guess he did with Kendall. They're lovebirds already though. That is absolutely nuts. Okay, Kendall, what the hell are you doing here? Come on now, go back and do your thing. Okay, Sean's taking photos of Zach because Zach's famous. Kiki's like admiring the way that Dylan cooks. That's funny. Oh, well, he kind of sucks at it, so never mind. He and... Okay, wait. So is it because they're cooking together that they have, like, a memory or something? Cooking together. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's sentiments. Emma? Oh, wait. She just got negative points with Abel, but, like... Oh, look at this. This is such a weird angle with Kendall in the forefront. Oh, that's... So, or the foreground is what I meant to say. Um, So what all is happening? Oh, Abel, get out of there. Sean's naked. What are you doing, friend? Like, get the hell out of here. Sean's naked sleeping in the bathtub. So Kendall is not supposed to be around here, but she and Dylan have, like, really hit it off already. Dylan made himself food, but he's stinky. Somehow they built something out of nothing. They're crushing it. Kendall is like, she's just, she came over because she was like, I heard Dylan O'Brien's here. I'm gonna go flirt my ass off. Got in Zane Malik's here too. Zane, I just kicked you out. What are you doing back at the house? I don't understand. That's not fair. Oh, Kendall's going over to you too. Jesus Christ. They think they could just come over whenever, you know? I guess they can, apparently. All right, Dylan's going to sleep, or is he self woohooing? Oh, God damn it. He's self woohooing again. Jesus, Dylan. So, you guys also voted on a poll that was for the next one on one date for this upcoming episode. And the result for the poll was uh, Zach Efron. Zach Efron himself, Mr. Guy who's currently asleep, is going to, after he wakes up, I guess, take somebody on a date. Now, based on his relationships, right, he's got a little something with Kiki, a little something with Emma, eh, sort of something with Kendall, but obviously she's not a part of it anymore. And then uh, something with Florence, nothing with Camila yet. Maybe we should consult the wheel. Let's do that. All right, who will Zach take on the one on one? That is the true question here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, so I have Camila, Emma, Florence, and Kiki, the four ladies that are currently in the house. 
Not gonna do Kendall because she's supposed to have been removed. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's Florence. All right. I'm super down with that. We haven't seen a lot of Florence, honestly, which is kind of interesting because, you know, like she was dominating the first couple episodes. Um, she's kind of taken a bit of a backseat to some of the other stuff going on. So once Zach wakes up, he and Florence are gonna go on a little uh, date. Also, yeah, what time is it? It's 10 p.m. and people are responsibly sleeping. We got five people sleeping right now. Goodness. That's actually really awesome. I, I did not think that, I don't know. Part of me was like, are they even gonna be comfortable sleeping in the same room with each other? Some of them hate each other. So the problem with Dylan having something with Kendall is that like she's not gonna be around much. So it's gonna be hard to kind of develop that relationship. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Everyone's chatting. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Right in front of Camila too. She didn't even notice. Holy shit, Sean and Emma. What the hell? Hey, you know what? They're really feeling comfortable with each other. Maybe, maybe they're end game. You know what I mean? Let's see. That was a nice little, little morning kiss. Let's have Zach come over and confess his attraction to Florence first and foremost. It's there in a, to a certain capacity, right? They're like mild romantic interests, but I want to see if there's anything that can kind of build from that. Let's see. Sean's going to be right there though to kind of watch this though, but he and, he and Emma are, are killing it though. So maybe it's, that's totally fine. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they keep going at it. Jesus. All right. Oh no, Zach. He just got so pissed because he saw Emma and uh, and Sean kissing. Oh no, <laughs> god damn it. Oh man. Okay, Zach, it's okay. We've got we've got another you know we've got another thing going on here with Florence. Come on now, don't slap Emma. No 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 no. It's not it's not slapping time. No 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 no. Oh, god damn it, Zach. Please, Zach. We got something else brewing for you. I know you're you're jealous, but also at the same time, talk to Florence about it. You and Florence are supposed to go on a date today. I hope you're okay with that. Uh oh, but now Kiki's pissed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. But now I think. Florence and Kiki are having a bad relationship from this. Oh, no. Florence and Kiki are losing interest because this is all... Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's the problem with this all being in a public space. It's pretty impossible to just kind of, like, ask somebody on a date with, uh, you know, without just doing it in front of somebody else. Let's see. Do you think we'd be able to ask uh, Florence on a date really quickly? Let's see. Let's see. 7 a yeah, like oh no, you. Abel and Zach had like a little, yeah, okay. I mean, they're still really good friends. Oh, okay, yeah, so I guess that was a successful uh, a successful ask. Okay, let's see, where should we go on this date? We can go to Maishino Meadows, we can go to the Arts Quarter and go to the Casba uh, Gallery, which has great acoustics and natural light. Let's freaking do it. We're going to the Casba Gallery, I think. I don't want to do any more karaoke. I'm so tired of karaoke at this point. There's so many karaoke bars though. Okay, yeah, let's go to the Casba Gallery. All right, now thus commences the one-on-one -on -one date between Zach Efron and Florence Pugh. Let's see if there's anything there, even though, unfortunately, the prospect of all this happening kind of messed up her relationship with Kiki. That's okay. Oh, Florence, what are you wearing? Zach, also here. Zach, we're definitely changing your fit. You are gonna be in... God damn it, you don't have hair in, like, any of these fits. Let's go with this fit, I guess, and then Florence, let's go with... I guess we'll go with this fit. I don't know if this will work or not. Let's see. Okay, I mean, these kind of work. These fits sort of work. Let's see. Will you guys, uh... You guys gonna do anything with each other? Check out the place, you know? It's got, you know, we got art, we got, you know... Oh, wait, they just hugged. Okay. I have not been watching for some reason. Reason, even though this is clearly the main the main event. Oh, God damn it. The paparazzi's here. I should have thought about this. Okay. Zach being a famous celebrity is really tough here. It's uh, everyone. Just, this woman just keeps. Oh, my gosh. They're just trying to chat. But like at the same time. Ugh, God, this person. Oh, Kiki's here, too. Kiki keeps showing up at all these different things. Like Kiki, no matter what, keeps being like, you know what? I don't care that it's a one on one date. I'm going to be here and I'm going to enjoy myself. All right, guys, let's go and do stuff. Let's go and uh, admire some paintings. Let's check out this place. This is a cool little art gallery a little you know apparently the acoustics are good in here if you guys want to sing together sing some breaking free some soaring flying there's not a star in heaven that we can't reach god damn it zach's hungry okay hmm admire that painting it's quite interesting don't you think oh my gosh is this a hookah bar what the hell are we about to go smoke hookah i mean i kind of want to just because i'm curious what the hell oh my gosh what <laughs> is this it is just hookah like what the hell is zach not into it i don't know wait hold on let's see <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I did not think that that's what this was gonna be. Okay. God damn it. And then there's a paparazzi here. Zach's too famous to take anywhere. This is rough. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at his eyes. He's getting he's getting all kinds of... Uh, God, he is so high. Oh no. Okay, so they're, they're, they keep getting minus affection, but also plus at the same time, it's like every once in a while. Maybe it's because she's like messing with him and he's like, I don't like that. Let's figure this out. Zach is like sweating profusely and it looks high as hell from this thing. Okay. Okay, but he and Florence got a memory together. What was this? Closer from Happy Memories. Okay. Oh, 
wait, what's the upstairs? I didn't even notice there was an upstairs. Oh shit, there's multiple levels. Oh, we can go painting? Or can we just admire painting? Okay, we can admire paintings. What's in here? More like sculpture shit? What is this? Oh, ooh, okay. I'm gonna have them go mold clay together. Zach, get your freaking mind out of it. No, wait, sit and do it. Okay, he's gonna mold the clay over here next to Holly. Florence, did you not mold the clay? She's got the clay, okay. Well, Zach's talking to this person. This is not the right person. Oh my gosh, this girl's freaking out because she's like, oh my gosh, Holly's here and Zach? He's, she asked for an autograph. God damn it, Zach. You're on the date with Florence. Go and do Florence things. Jesus, there's so much stuff here. God, this place has so many floors. What is up here? What's this? There's nothing up here. It's just like an area to sit. Oh my gosh. Okay. God, Zach is so sad. I, he's just, he's so bummed about Emma that he can't even focus on Florence here. I want to. Florence is trying, you know? Oh my. Double handhold. Okay. The the paparazzi lady is probably like, oh my gosh, spotting Zach with a girl on a date. Floris is doing so well, just reassuring Zach and making him feel good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just want to let you know. Oh my gosh. Florence, you're doing so well. You're trying so hard for Zach's affection. You're just killing it. Okay. He's like, he's still going to be sad for a little bit, but oh my goodness. Oh, and the paparazzi are taking photos. Okay. Wait, hold on. God, people are like literally cheering them on. This is insane. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, so much neck kissing going on, but like, what about, what about everything else? I know Zach's still like kind of sad, but he and Florence are crushing it right now. Florence is doing everything she can to kind of win him over. Oh, God damn it. Zach fell asleep. Okay. Oh my gosh. And this girl's fangirling over hit. Cassandra got this fangirling over. Oh, she fell asleep too. <laughs> what the hell? They fell asleep doing the same thing. She was like so enamored with Zach that she was like, oh my gosh, me too. I'm going to, I'm going to do what he does. That's so silly. Okay. All right. It looks like we're going home. Zach went home. He's exhausted. He's sad. Ah, oh, gosh. What happened right before the date kind of really like changed the trajectory of things. I mean, they, Florence did everything she could to really build things with Zach and she, she crushed it in that regard. But I guess the issue is just that Zach, Zach was really heartbroken over seeing Emma and Sean kiss like right in front of him because he she, he and Emma like kind of had something before all of this. So yeah, dang it. That's rough. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, Zach's bummed. He's just swimming it out. He's swimming it off in, in typical Zach fashion. Okay, that's fair. So despite the lack of first kiss, I'd say that that was a pretty good date. I think Florence performed incredibly. That was awesome on her part. Oh, Sean's getting naked with Emma. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. I think Emma feels pretty comfortable with this because oh, okay. She's pooping in front of him. You know what? That's a sign of good chemistry there. There. I mean, not that like you need to poop in front of your partner by any means, but like they're kind of, I mean, they're getting really comfortable with each other. That's for sure. If Sean's just showering in front of Emma and Emma's pooping in front of Sean, you all will be voting though um, in the poll for who you want to see. I'm going to give Dylan O'Brien a date card. I want to see him go on a date with somebody. So uh, just because he's the newcomer and uh, yeah, he doesn't really have much going. He has something going on with Kendall for some reason. She immediately came over and started flirting with him, which is crazy. But uh, who do you want to see Dylan go on a, uh, a date with? I guess like, I'll put Kendall on there because like, whatever. Uh, she really made her mark, apparently. Go ahead and go vote on that. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll end the episode with this. Whatever the hell's happening here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.